Hi and welcome to this short video covering the basics of chord tracks. Chord tracks were introduced a couple of versions ago in Cubase and allow you to create a chord track which has the chord information for your song potentially so it allows you to plot things out uh, and it makes some editing quite a lot easier and creation of parts etc. So this is the basics of it we will look in a later video at some more advanced use of it so the first thing first obviously you need to create a chord track which is done the same way as any other kind of track so I'm going to right click here add chord track I'm going to put that at the top for clarity to create chords all you do is use the pencil tool and just click where you want them to be so in this case I'm going to put one there one there I'm going to put uh, maybe zoom in a little and put a couple in bar three and then one in bar four so at the moment they're the chord of x which hopefully we all know uh, isn't a chord and then to edit them just double click and then you can put in the chord so you can put in the chord root note you can put the chord uh, basics here any tensions you want to add to it and the uh, root note if it's a slash chord so for instance you could have c major over e or we could just have plain old c major as it is there so we're just going to stick with that at the moment uh, let's go for D minor then we're going to go for um, a minor and then oh, G here and then back to C but let's make that C major 7 there okay so there we have our basic uh, chord track now if you've got uh, a MIDI track set up and it's either in monitor mode or it's record enabled then just playing back in default will allow those to get played by there we go okay so you can quickly experiment with chord progression to say particularly this is useful if you're not sure about your chord spellings or you want to try an idea that you've thought of uh, theoretically rather than organically on a keyboard or you know, on another instrument etc so you can you can try all sorts of things and just just paint those as many as you like go as crazy as you want with those uh, but there is more to it than that a really useful thing with this say another useful learning tool is if you take any of these or all of them and drag them onto a MIDI track the parts that fit those chords get created it's slightly disturbing because it looks like this is going to disappear but it doesn't you can see there we can create those and it creates generally it will create a bar long but here it's sensible enough to know that that should be uh, shorter so there we go and now we've got the actual MIDI that we can play around with glue together etc and manipulate in any way we like so you can generate those chord progressions fairly quickly so there is some there is some detail to this this is just intended as an overview there's much more detail on this in my book uh, but the idea is this is just to get you going uh, and give you an idea of what you can do with it so as we've seen in a previous video we can uh, edit chords using the uh, chord editing section here uh, and what's really useful is these controls here allow you to either um, send something you've done into the chord track so let's say you've you've done something and you you're not really sure what it is you can put it up to there and then maybe propagate it to a different track etc as we will see in another video but also if you've already programmed something and you want it to match what's on the chord track you can do that so we're going to look at both of those options now so first things first let's say we've got this a minor here so we've got a c and e and we've decided we want to make it a major just to change things up a bit so we're going to make that to a major there we can send that back to the chord track just by highlighting the chord and you can see it's identified that it's a major and then we can just click add to chord track and you see that that changes there back to an a the flip side is we can do it the other way around so let's say we'd made this here and we wanted it to be an a minor so let's change that back to minor there if we highlight that chord there we do match with chord track and it makes the necessary changes so just by using that fairly simple set of tools you can quickly create parts which uh, otherwise you may not have been able to but as we will see in a future video 
it's also possible to use this in a much more creative way to allow you to uh, instantly become much better at uh, uh, improvisation for instance and for it to limit the choices of notes that are available so we'll look at that in another video but for now that's just been a quick introduction to chord tracks and their uses in Cubase.